Well, good morning, beautiful people. Oh, this Facebook Live thing sure is uh, tricky sometimes when you're using your, your laptop in the studio. Anyway, I wanted to uh, go over what, what we're going to play talking about today, and that's uh, be careful what you trust. Be careful what you uh, uh, put your trust in. Be careful what you accept as truth. Um, uh, for example, this beautiful layered brick uh, stone wall here um, I just put up today. It's just sticky things to put on the wall to kind of liven up or actually just get rid of the distractions in the background of, of the studio. I've got some relayering to do. There's some um, edges that I need to finish out. But you know what? It's it's a nice look. But we just got to be careful that we don't just assume that what we're being told um, or what we're being um, uh, fed as truth and being taught is the truth. This goes for Bible. We need to be Bereans and, and check out uh, from scripture what we're being taught uh, we need to be studying so that we know and we need to be uh, just meditating on the substance on a regular basis so that we're ready to give an answer for whatever challenge to that scripture is presented either from the pulpit or from somebody in the streets or wherever that may be um, in our health we need to be careful not to just accept people's word for it i hope you don't accept my word for um, the truth of your health and, and how this uh, the body works. Um, I'm going from my education and I'm going from what I understand science to be and uh, physiology of the body and the structure of the body and the mechanics of the body. And so I'm relaying that to you in a way that I find understandable. Hopefully you will find it understandable as well. So I'm taking a very complex subject and boiling it down, presenting it to you in a way that you can understand but I hope it doesn't just stop there. I want you just to don't just blindly trust what I say to be truth. Hopefully you're, you're doing your own research. Um, unfortunately, in this day and age, anybody can post anything for any reason. And it's, uh, um, it, it's there for everybody to, to see. I want to show you a picture here real quick. Um, as I get it up, I'm going to keep talking. But um, 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 the, the interesting thing about... Um, what we've got going on now in uh, uh, artificial intelligence is this um, uh, this thing called um, well, gosh, where did I even put it? Anyway, doesn't matter, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't remember. But I'll show it, I'll show it to you some other time. Um, but you know, we can create some pretty pretty amazing things, and. Uh, not be real not be real at all actually and so we got to be very 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 careful that we um not do uh not just trust things at face value no i'm rambling a little bit um but uh, we saw in the last three to four years that very offices and positions of authority of high authority told us some things that weren't true the fact that they knew they weren't true and uh, it caused irreparable harm to many families, lost loved ones, lost quite a few people in certain categories um, that trusted them to do their job and to be honest and trustworthy in what they were doing. I don't know what their agenda is. I'm not going to assign motives. It's not my job. It's, I try not to do that um, on a day, uh, on a, as a rule. Um, you know, was it financial? Was it power? Was it fitting in with a narrative? Was it following orders? I really don't know. And at some point, I really don't care. They told us stuff that we knew to not be true. And they pressed it on upon us and they censored people for telling the truth. Um, and now we hear, we hear three years later, it's like, oh, it's over and done with. Who cares? Well, I do. You should too, because what happens the next time? And what happens the next time? And what happens the next time? Because this is not the first time they've done this. Um, they've done this with the swine flu. They've done this with a polio even. If you look back and actually do research on polio, the polio vaccine came out decades after uh, the polio virus was no longer affecting people on a regular basis with new infections. And then they redefined what polio was so that they even showed uh, fewer people had it. Um, so yeah, it's just a big, big, big mess and all that stuff's in the CDC, all that stuff's out there and published. I'm not making that up. And again, I hope you don't just trust, trust me and trust my word for it. Hopefully you look it up and find it out for yourself. So, um, 
who are you going to trust now? Who, who's not lied to you? Who's not changed their story um, when these new challenges come up? I mean, that's one of the things that you need to ask yourself is who's changing their story to fit the new circumstances? Who's coming up with new truth that contradicts old truth to uh, persuade us into actions that we nor don't wouldn't normally do who's trying to set the stage for um training us to do things that we wouldn't normally do yeah we just need to be careful just need to be careful and then you know when it comes to chiropractic uh, sam dr sam and i were talking this morning there's a, a lot of chiropractors that do a lot of things and that's their right and that's their privilege and that's their choice and i fight for that at the state level every day as executive director for the state association um, but what kind of damage is being done by bringing in other professions, calling them chiropractic, um, without their certifications, without their training, without their CEs, um, applying to what is being done in the practice, um, have to question, is that the right thing to do? Maybe they are, I don't know everybody's practice. Um, but then I have to ask, is this chiropractic? Is this what we're offering? And we have to always question that and always try to stay pure and true to what we do and what we say we do. Um, you know, it's it's okay if a mechanic, a car mechanic, wants to also paint your house. That's fine. They may be very, very skilled at it. Um, but hopefully they're not calling it a car mechanic or uh, whatever automobile repair when they go and paint your house. It's something totally different and distinct. And that's the problem with what we're doing in chiropractic. We do these other things, these other professions, but we call them chiropractic. And that's my problem. Let's call it what it is. If it's nutrition, call it nutrition. If it's therapies, call it therapies. If it's acupuncture, call it acupuncture. Uh, chiropractic is very um, pure and distinct and separate and uh, needs to be recognized for what it is and call the other things what they are. Um, and then, you know, there shouldn't be any problems with that from anybody. But do your due diligence. Check it out. See who's out there um, that you can trust, build up a relationship with them, and then uh, let them in your inner circle and continue to trust them. But always uh, trust but verify, trust but verify, because people are people, and uh, they will let you down. And uh, I've done that and had it done to me in innumerable times. We're not perfect, never claim to be. Whew, that was a lot of rambling today. But uh, yeah, um, be careful what uh, what you see. Don't accept things at face value. Always, always do your own search and uh, verify and then uh, build up that list of people that you can trust hopefully i'm one of them hopefully i've not misled you on any of these uh, check-in videos hopefully i've uh, told you um, how your body works in a way that is understandable and reliable and trustworthy from you and uh, that would make me extremely happy so anyway guys you have a great time today make sure you get checked regularly for the, for the chiropractic vertebral subluxation so that that can be not part of your life anymore. Take care. Bye-bye. I mean, anymore until the next time it comes up. Because they happen. You can't can't avoid them. They just happen. So, But we're here to take care of them so that you can live the best life possible.